All right, guys, so let's talk about clip gain and volume automation and when to use which. All right, so this topic was actually a request from a Patreon patron. So instead of trying to pronounce your name, because I always seem to mess that up somehow magically, I will put that up on the screen. Uh, thank you so, so much for putting in a topic suggestion. It really does help me figure out, you know, what to create in terms of content, what you guys want to hear or, or see, right? So um, I really do appreciate suggestions like that. So I do have another video where I covered clip gain and volume automation and how to use them. So if you wanna see that, I will put that in a card at the top of the screen. Um, I'm not gonna be covering like how to use these functions in detail in this video. I'm gonna be talking about when I personally tend to use these functions. And so it will definitely vary from engineer to engineer. You know, like a lot of, a lot of things in Pro Tools, we'll see that um, different people use it different ways and there's usually multiple ways to do anything in Pro Tools. So um, that's something to keep in mind. But basically when I am looking at a mix, what I'll tend to do is I will tend to do clip gain earlier in the process and then I'll tend to do volume automation later in the process. So you'll notice here I have, um, these are vocals and I have, I think around here somewhere I might have it so that the clip gain is slightly different. This one's not even showing the clip gain here. Let me actually, this will be easy to see, is I will show the clip gain lines here. So you can see here by the clip gain lines that, and you can also see here, this one's at plus 12.1 decibels, and then this one's a little bit lower. So you can see the clip gain line is a little bit lower. And that's because these are from different takes. So this purple one is a different take from this red content. And so I just did some clip gain to kind of match those levels uh, before they go through everything else. So a lot of times I will do something like this type of clip gain effect to kind of even out the mix a little bit um, towards the initial stages of the mix, right? So earlier on in the process. And later I'll add things like the volume automation. So you'll notice I have some volume automation here on the initial hit of this word. Uh, I have some gradual volume automation going on throughout the song here. Um, different sections are slightly louder than other sections in terms of the volume automation and how that's being changed. And you'll notice this is volume automation on the aux track for my vocals, but sometimes I'll put it on the actual volume automation for the individual tracks. It just depends on what I have, what I'm coming in with. Um, but that's the basic idea. One of the reasons why I do that is because when you do volume automation, you'll notice if you switch over to the mix window, so command equals, you'll notice that if you try to, if you have volume automation on something and you try to drag it down and change the level here to change the overall mix, what happens is as soon as you hit play, it jumps back up to wherever the automation was. So as soon as you add any kind of break point, which is one of these dots here, your, uh, your fader is going to jump to those levels. Uh, you can't just change the overall mix by moving the fader anymore. So what I like to do is I'll do clip gain first. I'll set the faders to set a general mix here. And then I will uh, go in with volume automation after the words so that, you know, the volume automation isn't overriding any general sweeping changes to the mix that I'm doing. The other reason why I tend to do clip gain first to get kind of like an overall balance to the mix is that clip gain is going to be pre-fader in a sense. So basically, remember, clip gain is going in before your plugins. So clip gain is affecting the sound that is going in to your plugins, whereas volume automation is affecting the sound that's going out from your from your plugins basically, right? So um, depending on what kind of effect you want, that'll tell you which one you wanna do, right? So if I want to put more sound going into my reverb, I will do clip gain. Whereas if I want to just bring the whole thing down a little bit without changing the input to the reverb, I will do volume automation. So um, depending on what you wanna do, you know, they do behave slightly differently. So just keep in mind clip gain is before all your plugins and stuff, whereas volume automation is after. So yeah, there's a disadvantage to using clip gain later in the process sometimes because you might then have to readjust your plugins, whereas there's a disadvantage to using volume automation earlier in the process sometimes because you can't just adjust the fader to adjust the level for your whole mix because when you hit play, it's gonna then jump to wherever your automation was. So um, these disadvantages kind of help dictate when I tend to do what, but you know, I'm always breaking the rules too. So. Um, so, you know, it's not a hard and fast rule, and I definitely break that rule um, a good amount, like sig significant amount. So, you know, do whatever works for you. 
So yeah, that's the basic idea behind when and why I will choose to do clip gain versus volume automation on any given mix. So that's just my personal, like how I decide when and why. So um, I hope someone out there liked this video. So please let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, you know, like comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I would appreciate all that stuff. And I do have that Patreon that I mentioned. So it's patreon.com slash Kato Noise. And my patrons do get access to additional content. We have a Discord server now, stuff like that. So please feel free to check that out um, if that's something you might be interested in. It really does help me keep my channel going. So other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you for watching. Okay. I think I still like this shirt. It's pretty cool. Um, I think my loop back's about to expire. It's about to start buzzing at me. That's what it does. It only lasts for like 15 minutes and then I have to restart everything because I didn't pay for it. So I don't know if I should admit to that. I'm gonna go make some pasta. Yeah, I'm gonna go make some pasta. It's gonna be good. Okay, bye.